So I don't know about you guys, but one of the first things I always do at any new town that I'm visiting is I check out what restaurants are around. So here we are about five miles outside of Blue Ridge at Cucina Rustica with authentic Italian food, handmade pastas. I want you guys to come on in with me and I think we're gonna start off in the kitchen to find a great boar's dish that they've got ready for us. We're here back in the kitchen at Cucina Rustica and they're gonna be making some homemade pasta. How you doing today? I'm good. So tell me a little bit about what we're gonna be doing back here in the kitchen today. Uh, well, we make all our pastas here at the restaurant and right now what Marty's doing is he's making the sheet pasta. Mm -hmm. Some are extruded. Uh, this is all 100% handmade with our eggs from our farm. Wow. Fresh semolina. And uh, he mixes a batch and then we do use uh, rollers. We say handmade, but we use electric rollers because we roll so much, mm -hmm. but we've always loved the idea of doing it ourselves mm -hmm. and the farm to table thing yeah, and things. Right. So, farm to table is really hard to do up here in the mountains. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we came here, it was very tough. We drove to Atlanta two and three times a week to buy product. Mm -hmm. It's much easier now, 10, 11 years later. But we do have a 30 acre farm. We do raise uh, Tamworth through rock pigs that are free ranging and, and acorn, acorn fed. We raise silver fox rabbits for the restaurants. We raise Coternix quail. Uh, we do duck and chicken eggs, which are we use for everything here. Yeah. And you, there's forward. always you always hear about homemade pasta, and there's just so much interest in homemade pasta, and people want to know what it tastes like. What is, is it special about what you guys do? Uh, really, just it's all about the touch. Mm -hmm. But this is a this is an old hand style, very wide cut noodle mm -hmm. uh, called pappadel. Pappadel. Uh, okay. And the dish that we're doing this for ragu is a generally a classical dish of Tuscany where they do a lot more. Uh, they do tomato, but also brown sauces, and they do a lot of game. Okay. So wild boar, venison, quail, ducks, oh things like that. And so that's, it's a, actually, it's a simple dish. It's very involved, but it's very simple at the same time. Wow. Everyone considers this a fine dining, fine dining Italian, mm -hmm. but we have many simple dishes like this that we just, we love. Okay, so let's go in and check out some of the boar. You guys have some of it ready for it. Yeah, and what we're gonna do is, Brandon, right over on the hotline, uh, we're gonna sear off the boar. We already have some working in the oven. Um, and uh, But he's gonna sear it off, just cause you can see what it is and kind of, as I said, it's a very simple dish. It's just labor intensive. Over the course of two days of making I bet it something. it good. <laughs> it's, it's very good. All right, well, let's it's check it out. Good. restaurants that of we have they all have these similarities and when we got here Michelle had this idea of the the similarities between Italy Mediterranean and the south and there are grits and polenta grit you know uh, all those all those different things pulled pork braised slow roasted mm -hmm. meats that they do all over Italy and, and the Mediterranean uh, the use of peas the use of herbs wild onions things like that, even the making of grappa and moonshine. Wow. They're exactly the same thing. They took the worst of the worst, the dregs of the dregs, and they made, you know, cherry pits become grappa, yep. and apple cores became moonshine. I don't know if you want to turn that, Brandon, see if you can get, uh, and then he'll sear this next side, and then when we pull it out of the oven the first time, It'll be nice and have a hard brown crust on that's it. That's the good part. And that's the, <laughs> then everything except for the bone, all the skin, all the fat, every, what fat doesn't melt away just gets chopped right up. <laughs> We've been very fortunate here in a place that there was not very much and now the accessibility from Asheville and Atlanta and yep, there's a lot now. Chattanooga there's a really good Charleston. food scene here. And that's a lot of what this whole best of Blue Ridge is about. It's not, I mean, it's not just the food, but that, you know, Blue Ridge is not very far from where we're at. You know, we're on the right. south side of Atlanta, an hour and a half. It's, it took no time for us to get yeah. here, to stay the weekend, you know, and whenever you're up in Blue Ridge, you know, this is definitely a place to come to. We're gonna let you guys know all the restaurants that they have, but it's excellent food, farm to table, um, and you guys really have a great family atmosphere yeah, and, here as well. Yeah, and Blue Ridge itself has grown exponentially. Mm -hmm. We never in a million years would have thought you know, we are. This, We've got wineries. And these two restaurants and that we have great. here <laughs> are Pizzeria and mm -hmm. here at Cucina Rustica out here. We are five miles outside of Blue Ridge and we're full. And that's how, over the course of our 10 years, 11 years wow. here, Blue Ridge has expanded 
Um, we're in the same county, but we're in a different town. We're actually in Morganton. Everybody considers us mm -hmm. Blue Ridge. Uh, but it's the expansion has been amazing, and we're just extremely fortunate to be able to cook and do and prepare for people how we coming through what we like. All right, so Marty's just going to finish this. That we got our fresh peas in there, garlic confit, roasted shallots, uh, olive oil, red wine, and then he has the the all the liquid. That's the reduction of all the liquid that we use to roast the pork in which is that reduced tomato product, vegetables, lots and lots of more red wine. Fresh pasta you can see right there. Boiling water, lots and lots of water. Whether you're doing dry or fresh pasta, people never use enough water. You need at least a gallon, you need a gallon of water per pound of pasta to give you an idea. As we said, this is a, a pretty simple dish, very, quite traditional uh, and the the things that we feel kind of set us apart are the little things that we do like the time we take for the pasta the time for roasting the pork uh, fresh mint which people would generally not think of oh, that's the dish fresh mint crumbled Parmigiano Reggiano. Well, I'm definitely ready to taste this dish. Do you guys want to plate it for me real quick? Sure, no problem. We'll get that going in just a second. All right. So guys, I don't know about you, but after seeing all that cooking in the kitchen, I'm definitely excited to try out this dish. I mean, it looks fantastic. And even when you put the mint on top, like I've never thought of putting mint and pork and pasta together, so I'm excited to check it yeah. out. I think that the pork looks good. I bet it's gonna taste good too. It's pretty good. <laughs> Mm. I love the pasta on that dish. Those ribbons just get me every time. It looks so good. And the pork, like you were saying, barbecue ready. And, and it's juicy, the flavor, I can just taste it. Like it's still, the taste is still in my mouth even after I eat it. So it, it tastes fantastic. It's really good. The barbecue too, we do a barbecue mm -hmm. uh, at Harvest mm -hmm. on Main, one of our other restaurants. And so that nice tender barbecue there. So we have, we do a lot of pork actually. We, we do. do house making. Yeah, there's nothing been. wrong with pork. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, we do. We're in the South. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> we are not a barbecue restaurant, uh, mm -hmm. and we do pulled pork at harvest. And I don't know exactly, but I'm going to say 400 pounds a week, and it is 16 oh, wow. hours over hickory and oak. That's it. And it's really flavorful, and it's got, and even the herbs, because I know you guys were picking fresh herbs literally behind the restaurant. You guys have herb gardens. And just in conversation, you kind of mentioned a little bit about the other restaurants that you guys have. So you guys have this location, but tell us a little bit about the other restaurants you have. We have Harvest on Main, which is actually where we started, mm -hmm. and that's so downtown in Blue like Ridge. Um, Southern American cuisine. Uh, really approachable and next door to that in a really old cool historic building the old tobacco building we have the fry shop and okay. so they do breakfast and lunch uh, fried chicken sandwiches chicken and waffles yep. chicken and waffle BLT which is one of my favorite meatloaf oh my gosh um, I've never had chicken and waffles I've uh, never yeah, I've had chicken and waffles in my life so cinnamon was, buns like, on a stick yeah. uh, <laughs> it's really fun it is yeah it's a fun spot and then next door to that is uh, on the track side mm -hmm. is Masteria Kitchen and Barns we do a lot of craft cocktails there Pizza again, but more that kind of California Mediterranean style. Much more Mediterranean, a lot more salads, grains, fresh vegetables. So, so there's a big, do, yeah, there's a big variety. Yeah, big variety. So where did that come from? I mean, have you been cooking your whole life, both of you guys? I mean, and I've been, there to be variety like that. I mean, well, I was not supposed from? to be cooking my whole life. But I <laughs> my whole life. And um, and we've been we've been extremely fortunate, but we've always loved the idea of doing it ourselves. Food is like an expression of love and caring and all that kind of stuff. Everyone loves to get around a table and, and eat and whenever you've got a good dish in front of you at a great restaurant with a great right. atmosphere. So I really appreciate you guys having us out. Thank you. Yeah, we're actually going to go to Harvest, right? And yep. have lunch. The crew's going to go there between shoots, but excited to try out some more of you guys' food. So thanks well, again. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. No Thank enjoy. You. for watching the best of Blue Ridge. Make sure you check us out online at scbtv.com and we'll see you guys next time.